Hi guys, Dane here, and today I wanted to do a quick little writing update. So, um, basically I've been kind of hard at work throughout lockdown, as I'm sure a lot of people have been doing. I've actually been doing a lot of overtime freelance work as well uh, for my various clients. Which is good, it's keeping the uh, money coming in and hopefully kind of allowing me to uh, kind of build up a little bit of a nest egg and um, also it kind of covers expenses, so um, my editing costs, cover design costs, layout costs, all that sort of stuff. But yes, um, today in particular I want to talk about my book Meat. So um, this is a novel I started writing in about 2015, um, it's been going on for a while now and uh, I've currently at the time of filming this, I'm just working my way through the final um, read through of it before it goes to print and so hopefully it's going to be released in October this year in time for Halloween. This video is the little cover reveal video so without further ado, here are some shots of the cover of Meat. So the blurb. Veterinarian Tom Copeland takes a job at a factory farm called Sunnyvale after a scandal at his suburban practice. His job is to keep the animals alive for long enough to get them to slaughter. But there are rumours of a strange creature living beneath the complex, accidents waiting to happen on brutal production lines and the threat of zoonotic disease from the pigs, sheep, cows, chickens and fish that the complex houses. Suddenly disaster rocks Sunnyvale and cleaners, butchers, security guards and clerical staff alike must come together under the ruthless leadership of CEO John McDonald. Together, they'll learn what happens when there's a sudden change to the food chain. Bon appetit. So as I say, I've been working on this book for a while now. This is actually the book that uh, turned me vegan as well, so the research that I did to see... Um, I mean, I already knew quite a lot about what happened in terms of meat production, but specifically in eggs production and dairy production as well. It was the research that I did for that that eventually I kind of felt as though I had to go vegan because otherwise I felt as though I was you know a moral hypocrite I felt as though I wasn't living according to my values um, because I fucking love animals there's some really horrible stuff that goes on at um, factory farms and so I kind of set out to cover all of those in this story but at the same time it's a very timely story because it follows a, a disease outbreak and basically most diseases come from large numbers of animals being together essentially so um, before the COVID-19 pandemic which obviously emerged in a wet market in uh, Wuhan before that a lot of the scares we had have obviously been avian flu swine flu um, you know they jump from animals towards humans and so disease is kind of a constant threat of factory farms and actually they pump their animals full of antibiotics I think in America it's 80% of the antibiotics used in America are fed to animals and obviously that ends up in your mouth so it's not good. Factory farming is also super unsustainable for the planet and stuff as well but that's kind of gone into a little bit less because this is much more about just what happens behind the doors of these mega factories you know. Um, so Sunnyvale is uh, it's set in the UK, it's actually set in the Chilton Hills which is near where I live and uh, it's modelled after a huge US mega factory farm essentially. Um, by this point, uh, the, the United Kingdom has left the European Union and so a lot of the factory, the laws that govern uh, standards no longer exist. And so essentially we don't really have factory farms here in the UK to the same scale as, as there are certainly in the US. So Sunnyvale is like the first UK factory farm of kind of a US size. Um, most of them actually do tend to sort of focus on specific animals as well, but Sunnyvale brings them all together so that we can see all of the different aspects of production. We also see, you know, there are very human staff here. A lot of them, you know, they're just normal people doing their jobs. They're earning a living, you know, and we see from it, for example, we have uh, Big Jim, the Scottish head of uh, security. Uh, we have Tom Copeland, obviously, we sort of see it through his eyes. He's a veterinarian, which kind of seems almost counterintuitive at a facility that's there purely to, you know, raise and kill animals, but, um, as you kind of see throughout the story, um, the animals are kind of seen as assets and so if he can keep them alive for long enough to make it through the production line, it's worth a lot of money to the facility, you know. But we also see some of the cleaners, um, a lot of the people work in the production line, again they just haven't got an, any other job. I mean the job pays well by the nature of it and uh, that's actually a difference in Sunnyvale, which is my fictitious factory farm, and the ones in the US because the ones in the US are like distinctly un-American really. They, Basically quite often they hire um, like undocumented immigrants basically because they know that they aren't members of unions They can't complain because the foreman will just you know dob them into um, uh, Immigration and whatnot 
and um, so they quite often just kind of keep raising the speeds that the processing is done and etc and that just causes obviously more injuries but they can't complain they're forced to work against almost against their will at times um, there's a lot of like human rights violations happening in America in these factory farms that um, yeah then it's not good <laughs> I'm not gonna go into all that stuff too much anyway because obviously you can read the book but um, yeah, that's, I guess you can kind of see my passion behind it, and then so I did a lot of research as well. Um, it's about 120,000 words long as well, so it's also like one of my longest books. Um, so it does mean quite a lot to me, so it's really exciting that that is going to be coming out in October. Um, there are a few other projects coming as well, um, which I will, I guess I'll update you on at a later date. Uh, there won't be any pre-order or anything like that for uh, for meat. Hopefully, as I say, it will come out in October. So um, I'll probably have like a launch thing for it closer to the time um, in which I'll do some videos and like a trailer and stuff like that. Um, but I probably won't be having a physical party or anything like that because, you know, global pandemic. But I'm working on getting that out to you soon. So, um, yeah, wanted to give you a little update on that and uh, keep your eyes peeled for meat coming soon. And as I say, also, um, there will be some more book news coming out as well. Uh, also in October, probably. Um, some of you viewing might know what it is too. But, um, yeah, updates on that coming soon. So there we have it, that was a little writing update video, a bit different to my usual booktube videos but I'll be back to normal soon. As always, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to let me know in the comments, um, you know, your thoughts on this, whether you'll be getting a copy. Uh, hit that uh, subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.